Welcome to another video from our YouTube channel on amazing design ideas from shipping containers. One of our subscribers requested us to do a video on how to install windows in a shipping container house. In this video, we are going to do exactly that. Stay tuned to find out how. Good, welcome back. Shipping container homes, just like any other home, require windows for lighting and ventilation. A container house without windows is like living in a bunker. Because of constricting dimensions of shipping containers, sufficiently sized windows will help you kill that claustrophobic feel of living in a container box. If you intend to execute this task as a DIY project, you will be required to have tools and materials that are essential to get the job done. We have sampled out highly rated, well-priced tools and products that can be purchased online to make shopping easier for DIYers. A complete list of the tools and materials for this task is provided in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first step is to mark out the position of your window openings. Mark out the position of internal partitions first to help you locate and position the windows correctly. It is always advisable to have a window in every habitable space for sufficient daylighting and adequate ventilation whenever possible. It is easier to mark out the openings from the inside of your shipping container, especially if the ground level on the outside is not even. Ensure the windows are the correct size to allow for the window frame to fit snugly to help keep your openings watertight. During the cutting process, a lot of heat is produced and the steel tends to expand. Chances are that the cut opening will turn out larger than what is on your drawings. It is therefore advisable to measure and mark out your openings slightly smaller than the drawing or allow the container to cool overnight then measure out the openings before cutting and fabricating the steel framing for your windows. Step 2. Cut the openings. The type of cutting tools to use will depend on whether you are off-grid or connected to the grid. Other factors to consider such as speed, cost, expertise will also come into play. So the following methods can be used to cut your windows in a shipping container. One, you can use an angle grinder. This is the most common method. It is also the cheapest and the most DIY friendly method to use. Secondly, you can use a cutting torch. An oxygen and acetylene gas torch is also good to cut your shipping container openings and if you are off grid this would be the best method to use. Number three, you can use a plasma cutter. A plasma cutter is the cleanest and the fastest method to use. So far it's better than the first two the biggest drawback is the cost that come with it, otherwise if you can afford one, then that is what I would encourage you to go for. When steel is cut, sharp edges are created on the openings. In addition, sparks and metal shavings are released during the process, making it prudent to wear protective gear for safety. You will need a pair of heavy leather gloves to protect your hands. You need to wear welding glasses for your eyes and also wear good ear protection from the high noise that is produced. Step 3. Fabricate the steel frames. So it is important to add structural reinforcement to offset the removed steel metal. The container walls are quite thin and therefore fixing a wooden frame or an aluminium framed window directly into the cut opening is almost impossible. It is therefore advisable to weld a steel frame or a heavy gauge steel flat plate 
around the openings to hold and fix the windows. When welding the steel window frames, first do a spot weld in all the four corners on both sides of the frame to hold the metal piece in place, then finish it up with a continuous weld. Ensure the frames are placed square before you commence welding. You need to observe safety and good welding practices at all times. Step 4. Welding the frames onto the shipping container openings. If you followed the correct procedure during the measuring and cutting process, then the frames will fit in snugly without any problem. The type of welding tools to use will depend on whether you are off-grid or you are connected to the grid plus other myriad of factors that are will be in play. So the types of method you can use to weld include one, MIG welding, that is metal inert gas welding process that is suitable uh, for welding mild steel, stainless steel as well as aluminium. Yeah, this is good because it can be used for those people who are on grid and it's also the best method to use for DIYers. Secondly, you can try out arc welding or stick welding. This is the most common type of welding you would find across almost every welding place. So if you have electricity on site, then this is the best method and also it is good if you are looking for very thick welds. Lastly, you can try out flux cord arc welding. This welding process is quite similar to MIG welding. It uses a special tubular wire filled with flux and a shielding gas is not needed depending on the filler in use. If you are looking for speed, then this is the best method to use. Step 5. Painting and rust proofing the steel frames. Shipping containers are made of cotton steel. Cotton steel makes them resistant to corrosion under normal conditions. However, the steel used on the window framing may not be rust proof. It is therefore important to rust proof the steel and the welded joints before installing the windows. Grind off any excess weld and use a metal filler to even out the joints. Sand off any excess filler before you commence the paint work. To achieve the best paint protection results, it is advisable to apply a three coat paint protective system. First, spray paint all the window frames and all the welded joints with the top quality epoxy primer. Apply a second coat of anti-corrosive metal primer like zinc chromate to act as a rust inhibitor preventing any further rust from forming. Finally, apply a good quality top coat enamel in a color of your choice and leave it to dry before installing the windows. With all the prep work completed, the last step is to install the windows. You can install a wooden framed window, aluminum framed, vinyl or PVC windows or steel casement windows. The two window components to consider when installing windows at this stage are 1. the window frame and 2. the window shutter. If you are installing wooden, aluminium or vinyl window using kits purchased from your hardware store, first pull out the vinyl window or the aluminium window or the wooden frame window and install the frame on the shipping container first by fastening it onto the steel window tube using screws or self-tapping bolts. Use silicone or polyurethane to seal off any gaps around the window frame to make the opening watertight. If you intend to use a steel casement window, install the window by screwing it or welding it onto the steel tube frame, then fix the glazing to make the opening watertight. If you intend to use PVC or vinyl windows, you can install them using expandable polystyrene instead of using screws. Use tape to hold the window frame in place and remember to cover the frame facings with masking tape to 
prevent the expandable foam from discoloring the window face. Finally, use silicone and or polyurethane to seal off any gaps around the window frame to make the opening watertight. Since the water drips down the container wall when it rains, chances of water getting into your house are very high. Remember to add rain gutters on all your windows on any shipping container house. This is a steel flat bar that is welded on top of the edge of the window frame to help in diverting water that is coming down the side of the container wall when it rains. If you used a flat plate instead of a steel tubing to frame out your window openings, then you will not need to install a rain gutter. The advantage of using a steel plate framing around your windows, it gives you enough projection to frame the view of your windows and also to protect your windows from rainwater that is coming down the wall of the shipping container and even it acts as a window seal to take care of any water that will fall onto the shutter of your windows. Depending on your climate, you might need to use double glazed windows if you live in the cold climate. We hope you found our presentation informative enough to enable you install the window in your shipping container house. If you have any other question or you feel like there are things that need clarification, feel free to tell us what you need clarified by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, you are encouraged to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. If you are watching this video for the first time, you are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly videos and updates on amazing design ideas from shipping containers. Thank you for your company and see you in the next video.